Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to send logs to your email. So normally you would go to log and view your logs here. But in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to send this information to your email. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to create a schedule. Uh, so go to system, scheduler, and I'm going to create a schedule. This schedule will be used to send these log information um, based on the schedule time and date and the interval that is set. So first I'm going to put a name for this, um, create a name for this schedule. I'm going to call it email logs. Um, the start date is the date when you want this schedule to start um, executing. The start time is, um, also is a time on this particular day that you want the schedule to start and the interval is how often the schedule will be executed. So I'm going to just put in a date, a time which is um, close to the current time but I'm going to change this after so I'm just going to first put um, at this time right now I'm going to call 51 And the interval is is um, the format for this interval is seconds, minutes, hours. So I'm going to set my interval for say every um, every one hour. Um, this is a set for for every one yeah for every one hour. I'm going to set that. But you can choose a, an interval that is suitable for your condition. Um, one thing to note, if you set an interval that is very short, then it might use up additional system resources. So you should be mindful of that. Um, for the policies, you don't need to change anything here. You can leave um, these options ticked. And the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add a script on for the on event. So when the schedule threshold is reached, then it will execute whatever is in this section. So I'm going to put a script here. And this script will be also available in the video description. So you can copy it and use it um, on your router. The only thing that you'll need to change is the email address. And all I need to do is just change it to your email address. Um, let me explain all this script works. So the first line, what it does is it prints the logs and uh, during the process of printing the logs, it printed to a file named logs. This file is a text file. It is created at, it will create a text file. Then this section of the script, it um, creates an email and then attach the log file that we had created up here it attaches that file to the email and then send it to the email address that is stated here. So I'm going to just check back with the time. So I'm going to change the time to, to as close as possible to the current time so I don't have to wait that long. Um, So I'm going to just save this log. So when this time is reached, then you'll see the run count to show that the log has been executed. If you are not a subscriber, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And then click on the notification bell to get notified when new videos are released. Thank you for your support. All right, so now the log has been executed, the script has been executed. And you could hear that notification, that's the email coming in. So I'm going to go to my email account and you will see the log. So I'm going to open this email. And now the email has the information that I had put into it and also the attached log file. So I'm going to open a log file and this is the log file that 
was emailed to me. So we can compare the log with what is in the router. So the last activity was a new script schedule by admin. So let me look at the logs. And it is saying the same thing. Um, so the first activity was the router rebooted without proper shutdown. So if I go here, it should say the same thing. Yes. So that is how that is how you configure your router to send logs by email. That's the end of this tutorial. If you like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please remember to do so. So thanks for watching.